Hi, I'm Rob Zip, and we are at the Houston Museum of Natural Science for the Mixers and Elixirs event. Today is June 24th, 2022. They do these once a month, so I'm going to show you what it's all about. So come and join me on the most epic adventures! So the Mixers and Elixirs, we've got a bar setting up right here. we got Zoltar giving people their, uh, their fortunes, but... Everybody lining up to get their elixirs right here. So one of the cool things um, about this is that it is an after-hours event. So the whole museum is closed off except for the people that are here, the mixers and elixirs party. The, be the best way to see the museum. sell seashells by the seashore. Look at the octopus. Going on a Jim Tamaro speed run! No, nope, can't run through the museum, sorry. <laughs> but look at all these rocks. Fancy rocks, hard rocks, emerald rocks, gold rocks, Game of Thrones looking rocks all the rocks you can get your rocks off on here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Don't turn your black light on though. Yeah, made some people laugh. Subscribe to my YouTube, bros. Look at that, look at that. So peaceful, gotta be quiet. Jon Snow, you know nothing. Here is the pendulum. Make sure, hopefully, this doesn't come off the mount. But yeah, people will just stand down there. Watch the uh, the ball spin, the pendulum spin until it knocks over the uh, the pegs. He does one a minute. Did he knock one over? No, I'm not gonna stand here and wait for it. <laughs> it's the Texas, the Hammond Hall of Texas Coastal Ecology. Long learn all about what it's like along the Texas Gulf Coast. We are here in Harris County, Houston up here. All of the different types of animals you would have seen here at one point in time. You don't really see many wild bison running around, but they did roam the prairies once upon a time here in Texas. It's an ocelot. It's Babu! This is real central Texas type. Well, that's plastic, but... <laughs> up in the Guadalupe Mountains, you got some rams and some cougars up there. Bobcat catching a bird. Yeah, a woodpecker. I feel like I'm at Disney World again. In the tiki 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 room. This is really cool. All the different, all the different animals. You got some beavers and some different kinds of ducks and geese and whatnot. Birds up in the tree here. This is a really neat area that they added to the museum a few years ago. They call it like the Cabinet of Curiosities. 
but it's basically a lot of uh, you know random bits here and there a big alligator or crocodile that just didn't fit in anywhere else in the museum and you can come through here and you can look inside these these cabinets here see different collections of things Russell if you see anything like this in Benin you got to bring it bring it back for me in this drawer we got some seashells in this drawer we have some rocks and a jaw some more shells here oh and there's an evil spirit trapped inside this one that's you do not want to let that go Russell if you see something like that Benny do not bring that to me leave it there there's Jose what's up Ocho everybody wants to go but nobody wants to go where I'm from So where on the globe are you from? I'm from here. I've been all over here. Here. I've been here, all the way over here. And I've been here, all through here. Oh, and I've been, where is it? I've been down here. Where's New Zealand is down here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Been down there. Now when you see things like this leatherback turtle, these sea turtles, these were uh, captured and stuffed, taxidermied, well before they were endangered creatures. So you don't want to just dispose of them. The, the best thing to do is to display them properly, at least get some education out of them. It's like education out of this creepy pole sticking up above my head. It's definitely one of the more interesting areas of the museum just because it's so random. You got a stained glass here. A nice scene here. It looks like it's in Spain or Italy or something. Somewhere along the Mediterranean coast. So I think this is a crocodile here on the roof, on the ceiling here. Um, Jose here thinks it might be an alligator, but what do you think? Can you tell us in the comments, is this a crocodile or an alligator? Or, or something, else? is it a caiman? Nah. <laughs> Caimans are usually smaller than that. So yeah, tell us in the comments, what do you think? Oh, they stop. Cute little advertisement in the elevator. So these are the next two mixers and elixirs. This is where we're at right now, featuring Houston's top DJs, July 15th, featuring Satellite, and then we've got some more top DJs on August 12th. Hey, oh. All right, let's see if we can see it knock over a peg. It's not even close on that side. What about on this side? Yeah. yeah. Close. All right. Everything at this museum is excellent, but the Morian Hall of Paleontology is the best paleontology hall I've ever seen anywhere in the world. If you can name a better paleontology hall than this, please mention it in the comments, but I guarantee you, you're going to be shocked when you see this place. This is where most of the revelers are because this is definitely one of the coolest parts of the entire museum. The freaking mammoths! There's a mammoth in the air! <laughs> you can see flying, flying cavemen trying to hunt the mammoths. Wait, the pterodactyl up there. Music is funky! Hey Jose! Go stand by 
another slot for scale. Look how big that thing is. What? <laughs> I don't know what this thing was, but it looks delicious. All right, now we got a Megalodon mouth chasing after this pachyderm type creature. Look how huge that is. Here's a, uh, a drawing, an artist rendering of what that might have looked like. So tucked within the paleontology hall is the Jurassic Bark Gallery. Not Jurassic Park, but Jurassic Bark. Old petrified wood. Would you would? What a woodchuck would if a woodchuck would could chuck wood. Petrified. Look at this giant chunk of petrified wood here. Jose, you should stand next to that. Use, use Jose for scale. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That is a crocodile. Is it pregnant? That, I don't, is it pregnant? No, he said broken bone, broken ribs. I got crushed. Not right here, right here. This area. Right There's here. little baby crocodiles in there. Looks like it. I don't know. Looks like rocks. I don't know. It's cool to see them like in these in the stone, forever captured in time for us to learn millions of years later. This right here looks like a big, tasty chicken. I want to deep fry that and dip it in ranch dressing. These pretty ladies right here came up to me and they said they wanted to be in my video. So here they are, they're dancing, they're having a good time. Awesome. Congratulations, you did it. You did it. So we just checked out some of this cosmic vibes at the planetarium. Um, as you can see, it's a lot of um, it's a lot of pop music. I don't know any of this. It was just kind of boring. The, the light show was good, but not exactly my my speed. But it's on a loop. 25 minute showcase. Cosmic vibes. You might like it. You might enjoy it. It's still beautiful. The planetarium is awesome. I just not a fan of music so much. So they have their menu, electronic menu board that gives you some of the prices for all of the different admissions. Hey guys, you've got your advertisements over here. The Jury Masterworks that's coming soon. The Body World I think is leaving soon. Free Thursdays, cooler in the summer, five to eight every Thursday. You can come here for absolutely free to the the permanent exhibits. So there you go. There's the shows that are on the giant screen theater. They're always excellent. You got different shows on the planetarium. Those are always excellent as well. You can't forget the Butterfly Center that is closed tonight, but it's open during normal visiting hours. All right, we're heading outside. Looks like there was an accident here with this table, but 
it's getting close to closing time here. The food trucks are about to head home. People are getting some last little nibbles before we end it for the night. But it smells good. It smells good, hey. <laughs> Here, we have a recreation of the Texas coast. The Gulf Coast of Texas, right here. This wonderful waterfall. All right guys, thanks so much for coming with me to the Houston Museum of Natural Science for Mixers and Elixirs. Again, this is gonna happen again on July 15th. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe. Yes, even these officers over here. Like and subscribe, guys. My name is Rob Zip. You've been watching the most epic adventures. Remember to drink water, listen to metal. Today I'm wearing an exhumed shirt. What happened today? So, remember to drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventures!